All right, guys, we are back, back in the building, back with some more boxing, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and all that good stuff. Now, guys, uh, I finally made it out here to Las Vegas uh, for the big showdown, Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Bud Crawford. We're only three days away uh, from this fight. Uh, getting antsy, getting antsy, but, you know, We've been waiting for five years, so three more days uh, is not really that much. Uh, I did make my prediction video today, so if you guys hadn't checked it out here on the channel, uh, make sure you do that. I'm sure I trigger a lot of Errol Spence Jr. fans. Uh, some of you guys know I am a huge Errol Spence Jr. fan. Uh, I talked about that in the video and you know how I've supported Errol throughout the years, uh, but I pick Darth Bud. Darth Bud by 10th round stoppage. So I know a lot of people are surprised by that. But uh, I just call it like I see it, guys. Uh, I just weigh the skill sets, uh, what each fighter has accomplished. And, you know, I make my decision based on that. And I just think that Bud, you know, has a little bit extra than Errol Spence Jr. when it comes, you know, to, to this fight game. So, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe, you know, Things won't work out the way I see it. You know, there's no guarantee, of course. Uh, Errol Spence Jr. might make a, a liar out of me, make, make a believer out of me. But we're just going to have to see. But it, it is just, you know, my opinion, of course, uh, who I think is going to win the fight. Uh, the fight's uh, going to take place right there, guys. I don't know if you can see it. The T-Mobile Arena is right there. And uh, the place is going to be lit, of course. And... Uh, Hopefully you guys who are not here in Vegas uh, seeing the fight in person or the fight on pay-per-view always talk about supporting the fighters, uh, especially supporting the platforms when they give us the fights that we want to see. And I did discuss how this fight is probably going to change the trajectory of boxing. You know, the, the fighters coming up, they're going to see these two guys who are undefeated, putting their O's on the line and making history. And, and they're going to want to kind of emulate that too. Uh, Another thing is we got a bunch of new fighters coming up at 147, so I think it's good that we're getting this fight now uh, so these guys can get an opportunity. Guys like Stan Ionis, uh, guys like uh, Jerron Boots Ennis, uh, he, even Keith One Time Thurman, even though he's not a new guy, I I'm sure he wants to get in the ring and mix it up once again and become a champion. But anyway, guys, just wanted to check in with you, uh, let you know that I actually made it here. Uh, you guys tell me what you think about the fight this Saturday. Who do you have? Do you think there'll be a stoppage? Uh, are you in Errol Spence Jr.'s corner or are you in Terrence Buck Crawford's corner? You guys let me know about that in the comments section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.